if it's possible for God to be finite and God not to be finite, you have to then agree that it's possible for God to be temporarily eternal. You keep saying God is infinite, but a part of God came down and wasn't infinite. You cannot say God is infinite and at the same in the same breath say God is not infinite. You can't you can't say oh God is infinite, but God isn't infinite because it doesn't make any sense, Raphael. You have to say the Father is infinite, but the Son is not infinite because you said the Son, when his aspect came down, he was finite. You're welcome to invite him if you want to invite him. We, have no mind. we wouldn't recommend it. Right. Good. So, how can God be 100% infinite when 50% at the very least is infinite and 50% is finite? Who's I invited there? my friend. Did you there? invite him? If he keeps yeah. on interrupting, we're going to move. Yeah. And the second time he moves, he will be, he'll be called to the police for harassment. I love you, Allah. Of 33 years, out of an infinite amount of time, 33 years, where an aspect of God, whether you want to call it a third of God, whether you want to call it the person of God, the word, what do you think? a word of God, any part of God came down, whatever came down on the earth, it was ignorant for 33 years. Now, which one is more maximally perfect? The Christian concept where God is less than perfect in terms of his knowledge, or the Islamic concept where God is fully Always. knowledgeable? Okay. And which one is more? Okay, one more. One more. One more. Rafa, which one's more worthy of being worshipped? Yes. Yes. Which one's being? Which one's more worthy of being worshipped, my friend? Can I also do without you interrupting? I think you guys. No, no, it's not. So far, it has been okay. So this is not a question of perfect or imperfect. Why not? Why not? Why can't it be? Can I? Can I? Let me finish. Let me finish. Okay. Okay. It's not a question of perfect or imperfect. The infinite God still knows. It's a way of God um, communicating to us no, no, in the no. finite. No, can I? The difference between our belief and your, you guys' belief is that we say God created the, the, the world which is finite. God is an infinite reality. He can interact with the finite. Okay? So that, that makes the big difference between Muslims and Christians. We, we believe God interacts. And the way God interacts with the finite is through His Word and through His Spirit. By becoming finite. Exactly. By, that's why I explained some of His aspects projecting yeah, the, the sun, finite. The sun became finite. Yes? So, exactly. So, but okay. the knowledge in terms of perfection, in fact, He would rather say to you, it's not because it is imperfect, it is because it would be a logical contradiction for Jesus to say, I know the hour. Because this hour... Yeah, because he's ignorant. Like you said, the aspect of Jesus hour, became finite. Yeah, yeah, this hour cannot be grasped in the finite. It can, God doesn't cease to exist in infinite. But the way he's projecting himself can, no, no, okay. in the finite... Can, Rafa, can I ask you... Can, 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 let me see. Can, the way he's projecting himself in the finite, yeah. you, you cannot grasp, we cannot grasp no. that time. I think we can grasp it. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Okay, tell you why. Then, then you are God. You have God. You keep using... You see, you're conflating, conflating terms here. You keep saying God is infinite, but a part of God came down and wasn't infinite. What you have to say is this. Unless you believe that God is compartmentalized, a portion, half of God is in heaven or outside of the finite space and therefore is infinite, but another half of him is not infinite, it is finite. You can't, you can't say, oh, God is infinite, but God isn't infinite because it doesn't make any sense, Raphael. You can't have your cake and eat it too. So, so you have to so, be precise in your terms so that you use. Listen, hold on, hold on, hold on. Very, very precise. Oh, no, you're not precise. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why I'm paying attention. Because if it's possible for God to be finite and God not to be finite, you have to then agree that it's possible for God to be temporarily eternal. Why? Because you now are you are now affirming contradictions, impossibilities. You have to affirm it's possible, possible for a married bachelor to be true. It's possible. Can I, can oh, I, I'm, I'm finished. I'm finished. I'm finished. If you don't let me speak, Rafael, I'll give you. Rafael, I'll give you your time. I understood you. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get you to understand. Because you are speaking. You okay, answer fine. yourself. No, 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 no. no. It's very, is it very a simple. Question? It's very simple. It's very simple. You cannot say God is infinite 
and at the same in the same breath say God is not infinite you have to say the father is infinite but the son is not infinite because you said the son when his aspect came down he was finite so make up your mind is the son That's infinite what I, just say. I make my mind okay so is the son infinite or finite I just say the manifestation of the son yep. is finite. okay good so the son is finite right is the father infinite or finite the father is infinite so how can God be 100% infinite when 50% at the very least is infinite and 50% is finite? You see? <laughs> now listen carefully. I'm I listening. gave this analogy. Yep, I'm listening. The, the, I gave the analogy yep. of the moon because yep. if you yep. think, yep. if you yep. use yep. your mind... Remember, right? the moon's up there. The moon, let, let me finish. The moon let, is either 100% the moon... Let me finish. Or not. Let me finish. The moon is still the moon. It is the way you perceive the moon. Yep. The way the moon, the moon is uh, projected to you. That's what makes okay. the difference. I'm looking at the and moon. That's what we are saying. So I'm not saying that. You're the, saying that. Yeah, that, that's what we are saying. Yep. Okay. Yep. So God doesn't cease to be the infinite God. Yep. Just it's like the, the moon. God just like the just like the moon doesn't cease to be in the moon. Right? Earth in Jesus. Yep. So what you say doesn't even contradict what we believe. Raphael, 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 excuse me. But it's very easy, very simple. But, you just have no, no, no. That, that Maybe you can go home and no, listen no, no, to my this. And you're that does not make sense at all. It make perfect sense. I tell you why. I tell you why. I tell you why. The aspect of moon, the moon that we see, will always remain the moon. You can't go to the moon God and look back down. God will always down. remain God. Listen, listen, I know, that's what you claim, but from your own admittance, God will not always be God, because a portion of God will have to become finite for 33 years. <laughs> So, so no, 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 Yes, but it's, but it's not moon. the full moon, is it? Yeah. It's not the full, but that's what we say as Christians. Okay. The aspect of yes. God, yes. the word of yes. God, yes. manifests in yes. the flesh. Okay. That's what we say. We never say the infinite God in entirety became baby Jesus. No, that's I didn't say that. Many but Christians you, believe. But you believe that yeah, many Muslims believe the infinite God, God became finite. That. You believe that an infinite God became finite, and you still he's, insist he's infinite. He is projected How is that? his aspect very in finite. Very easy. I don't know no, how to make it. Because, because you said simple. Listen to no, that. Rafael, Rafael. There's a way of solving this in an easy way. Yeah. You're talking about projection. Yeah? It's just for listen, understanding. Listen, okay, listen. Understanding. Let's go beyond projection, before the projection happened. Projection happened 2,000 years ago, according to Jesus as a body, right? Yes. In the divine reality where God is, in your belief, God is eternally Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Is that correct? Good. Let's talk about that reality and see whether this is something that is before, there was a, before there was a moon or a sun or a human or a planet, do right? Not, do not misrepresent me. I'm giving some no, no, no. idea for understanding. Okay. Rafael, 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 let's not talk about I know you guys like mocking. Mocking. You 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 mocking. Rafael, here it is. Rafael, here it is. Everybody so, has a right here so to talk. If he keeps yeah. on interrupting, we're going to move. Yeah. And the second time he moves, no. he will be he will be called to the police for harassment. Who, right? who says so that? Now, who says well, no, that? No, no. I invited my friend. Who who did you invite him? I respect him. Did you invite him for correspondence course, and for some benefit in the discussion? He hasn't invited you. So yes, he did. He did. Ask him. Ask him. Did you invite him? You have more knowledge than here. He said you invited him. You are welcome to invite him if he wants to invite him. We, I have no we wouldn't recommend it. Right. Good. So lying, now, lying. To, to continue, to continue the simplistic understanding, oh, simple way to understand. Before God created this universe, before God created your God, concept of God that you have, created this universe. Yeah, this universe. So this universe doesn't exist. No planets. No solar system. Nothing. No human beings. No human Jesus either. So we're talking and focusing on the divine reality of God in your belief, which is a tri-personal entity. Within this tri-personal entity, does the Father and the Son communicate with each other? Do they? I'm asking. They communicate. So obviously communication happens because they are consciously separate from each other in terms of their identity. The son can communicate with the father because they know consciously I'm not the father. That's what I was telling you, God has different uh, consciousness in that sense. Good. He so, has, he has so, so, that so, we are, we, so we you have now, you have now, more than, 
one center of consciousness within your God, one God. Is that right? Is, is that our, what is it? Do you believe in your concept of God, there are more than one center of consciousness? Uh, you know, okay, based on our human being understanding of consciousness, I think God has, may have many consciousness. The reason why I say that... At least three. Is, at least, he has many. Good. The reason why... No, let, can, I, can I just... Can you just talk? No. The reason why I say that is because of the example I gave in the beginning when we started this question, saying that God, God can be talking to an angel, talking to another archangel, uh, talking to a prophet, all at the same time. And so, so it can so be one person? Yes. One, 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 one being. So one, can, one, can, can one consciousness, one being, describe as God, God being one person, one consciousness, can he still do that? Yes. Yeah, I agree. Yes. So he doesn't need. Thank you. So right, you're supporting us. Thank you, buddy. So, so, I didn't answer that. Okay. So answer that question. <laughs> okay, so answer that question. <laughs> if you have a concept of God, when you have a concept of God, where God is one person and one center of consciousness, we don't believe God is one person. Listen. We don't believe God. You are, I am what giving you say you a definition, not, a Christian not your definition. belief. I didn't what, say the Christian. I don't need to believe in what you believe I'm in. I'm not giving you a Christian definition. But, okay, talk. I am saying, this if is, you have a concept of God. You guys like God, this word. This is, if, 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 you have a conscious, if you have a concept of God, in which there is one person and one center of consciousness. You don't have it. I'm not talking about creative. If, 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 not your belief. If. No, your belief. Okay, okay you are talking a different belief. A different okay, let's let talk about a different belief. belief. In, that, in, that, in that belief system, is it also possible what you describe? This one being called God, one consciousness, one person, being one person, talking to an angel and other archangel at the same time? You tell me. I'm asking, is it possible? I didn't think, I, I never thought about it. What do you so, think? Now think. think. Let's give you some time to think. Answer, I'm sure you've thought about it many times. The answer is in the Bible. No, 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 I want you to think. The answer so is in the Bible. So this is how we learn from each other. So think. Yeah. Because can I, so about you said, yeah. so a different belief, can which I, is not a Christian belief. Can I say there something? Is a, there is a... No, you can't. The answer is here. The answer is here. You don't disrupt. There is a person called God. The answer is here. Don't disrupt. The answer is in the Bible, my brother. If you want... See how he's interrupting you? That's if why you, you find it difficult. Continue. If you want to know the answer, it's in the Bible. So, Let so, me talk to you. So with his loud voice, Bible. I can hear anything. From the can Bible. you tell him to be quiet and go somewhere else, perhaps? So I can because hear you. I'm, uh, I'm uh, giving the reference. That's why they, they don't want the reference. So they, the no, no, they want, they want uh, their own knowledge. They don't want. They don't want. They don't. No. One consciousness. And you talk about the angel, the archangel, the angel. You see, you see. They don't want this. No. I'm saying. Is it conceivable that it's possible for God to do that? Now you have to define this God in his entirety. What is the aspect this of God is God? one person. I, I that means there's a one I, center of consciousness using this social models of consciousness within Trinity. I'm using your language, your semantics to understand this. The only way I can uh, express that is from my own consciousness as a human being. I cannot be, I cannot be speaking to you and speaking to someone else and thinking about I could not be but doing that. But that's you, human. God. God.